What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Overwatch Observers Podcast, Episode 4. I'm your host, Dom. With me, my co-host, Mike. Hi. And my co-host, John. How's it going? Good. It It goes well. It's a strange sense of deja vu. Deja vu? Deja mustard. Deja mustard. Deja mustard? I don't even like mustard. I do. Never been a mustard. I'm I'm more of a ketchup kind of guy. It's got to be on certain things. I'm not like a mustard on everything kind of that guy. Maybe on a pretzel. While we're on this topic, I had a discussion with the kiddo today about how warm ketchup sucks. If you have to have ketchup, it's got to be ice cold out of the fridge. Yeah. No, she's totally right. I know. The wisdom of a nine-year-old. She is wise beyond her years. I am going to have to agree. Ketchup is cold, but I don't mind, like, I don't... if. If it's freshly opened, it doesn't. It's it's not too bad. If it, I don't know, because like, if it's sitting out in the sun, definitely not. But like, you go to a cookout and somebody's got like brand new ketchup, like that obviously hasn't been in the refrigerator, like because they just bought it. It's fine. I don't know. No, whatever. no. Well, yeah. I mean, we were at McDonald's. She wanted a burger with no ketchup on it because by the time she gets home, the ketchup is hot. So she has me put extra ketchup on the side. Anyway, now that we've talked about we condoms, know things about your child. Mm-hmm. So. What what do you think some some of these characters in Overwatch prefer ketchup or mustard? Look at that smooth transition. You guys couldn't even tell. So Just, um, <laughs> we did it out, you idiot! You yell at me for doing that all the time. That that, that was the joke, because it was a it, it was a terrible segue. So. Um, no, you. What was a terrible segue? The segue the guy who just bought the company was riding when he careened off a cliff and died. True story. Look it up. Hey. Yeah. Back to Winston's favorite food. Bananas. That's profiling. It's true. Widowmaker likes ice cubes. I was going to say croissants. She's French. Croissants. She likes something pronounced in a different language. Torbjorn drinks mead and only mead. Shit, I got mead in the fridge. What is... What is- what does Reaper eat? Gimme. What does Reaper eat? He just feasts souls. on your soul? Yeah. Just eats souls. No, so, alright, so I've, I've been thinking recently about, I mean, we've all been playing a lot of Heroes of the Storm, and I started thinking about the, the pay model that we're going to have for, for Overwatch. We know it's going to be free to play, but have we heard anything whatsoever on, like, character rotation? Like, we don't know if we're going to have to buy heroes or anything like that. Now, I don't think we've gotten any hard details about this yet. And if they're out there, I have not seen them. But um, from what I understand, the game is going to, yes, be free to play. And that's all I know. I mean, I guess you could assume that there's going to be some kind of free road. I mean, maybe they'll just give you all the heroes available off the bat. And, you know, the microtransactions will be for cosmetic stuff or alternate whatever things or they'll do a heroes of the storm and it's a free rotation and you have to earn them i mean i would prefer they do like the tf2 model where like you just get everybody and then they get their money from microtransactions of like hats gear hats crates that drop random things skins just just throwing that out there blizzard can we get a a pink hat in one of your games just yeah just slap a dead goblin on the top and Call it a day. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm expecting something similar to Heroes. Um, my wife just put in chat that she heard there'll be a free character rotation, but something like Heroes, but modified. Yeah, so then that's uh, that started thing. I started thinking about like skins and stuff. Do you think that's going to be another thing? Like if they if they model this after Heroes, where they have like the free rotation, you know, Heroes isn't the first game to do it. Like we've seen Dota do it and, and things like that. But do you think we're going to have skins as well? Like, or is this just going to be like the the Team Fortress hats? Um, I expect skins. I expect cosmetic items to add on, like a hat, or like, you know, hey, look, look at this fancy sash I'm wearing. You know, Tracer wearing the Miss England sa- you know, Miss England 2014 sash or something ridiculous like that. Or complete skins, too. I mean, probably get a whole variety. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I think with this kind of game, 
game because it, like your team composition just matters so much. They want you to switch classes constantly to keep up with the pace of the battle. Like I don't see how they couldn't give you all the characters, or at least most of them. You know, Ooh, like maybe yeah. you'll maybe when a new one's released, you'll have to like pay to get it early, and then like the rest of us get it like a couple weeks later. But like. I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be cosmetic stuff that they're making their money off of. Or maybe even like character, like portraits and stuff, like char- like you know, uh, character icons, things like like you. I don't know. Even like auras or something like that. They can give them like cool, like you know, get, Reaper gets like this cool red glow around them and shit. Doesn't have to be like costumes necessarily, but like you yeah, can get this big red you know, glow so everybody knows where you are yeah. on the map at all yeah. times. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I don't know how I feel. Like I could kind of see them going with uh, like the paid on, you know, paid unlock or rotation, like because that this model is working out very well for them in in heroes. It's it's working out phenomenal like because then you could try classes stuff that you don't have and then you're like oh i really like that and then guess what next week it's gone so you're like well i really had fun playing that character maybe i should buy it you know so that model's kind of been working out really well for them but right. yeah I, I, I don't know a game like this depending on how many heroes there are there very well could be room for this model like if there's six tanks at launch you don't need to be able to swap to all six tanks you just need at least one of every um class you know on rotation in a week you need at least one free to play tank in rotation you need at least one range damage one melee kind of you know whatever yeah i don't know it's just like because some of the characters are such some of them can be like such hard counters to others you know Mm mm-hmm yeah. Like, a Tracer's going to ruin a Torbjorn's day. Right. So, like, if he's, like, your only defense for that rotation, like, your life is going to be miserable, you know? Especially if Tracer is free for everybody that week, too. Right. So, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how they could balance the game that way. Because then that would mean that every tank would have to be very similar and be able to tank it just as effectively as another. Because, like, Zarya is not that great of a team tank. Mm-hmm. she's not because she has just a personal bubble she can't block the team so like mm-hmm. on her week it's going to be impossible to push if it, you just have Zarya for free so like I don't I don't know if that would work you know I think that you know and I'm we're talking about this and as we're talking about it, and I'm seeing chat talk about you know the possibilities I'm I kind of think now that it's going to be everything available at launch mm-hmm. because you know what chat's saying and what we've said, you're meant to switch often to adapt to the battlefield. So, you know, you may be switching a hero every single death. You don't know. And if that's the case, how are you going to adapt if you don't have everything available? It's going to completely kill everything they said that they want you to be able to do. Yeah, I could definitely see, I could it, see it going both ways, though, because, like, if there's enough tanks, like, there, if there are, and... There could be multiple counters to a specific class. It doesn't... Yeah. Like, we don't know how many characters are planned for launch. We have no idea. Mm-hmm. I imagine at least the ones on the poster plus Zarya. And then there's even there's even a couple other ones, like, that yeah. we've seen in the opening cinematic. You know, there's there's a couple other ones floating around on some promotional pieces, and, like, the, the poster behind me has a couple on it that we haven't seen before. The, the ones in the cinematic we covered last week, the guy that looks like a pyro... Um, uh-huh. you know, so <laughs> they, there's, there's definitely a bunch of, of people there. So I don't know. It's, it's hard to say. I would like, I'd prefer for everything to be, um, free and unlocked immediately. Um, cause that, that, that is the model that like team fortress is going on. That's the one we're most heavily, uh, basing this around. Right. But you know, at the same time, team fortress has pretty much one character can play a role. You know, there's only one sniper. You know, there's there's not multiple snipers, so. Right. I mean, right now there's yeah. only one sniper, Widowmaker, but that could change very easily. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's just the of fact course. that these are not classified as this is the sniper. Like, they're they're going by character name, so that you've got to think that there's going to be more than one type of sniper, so. Uh, I mean, you already almost have, like, Hanzo's kind of, like, the same, like, kind of assassin kind of character, mm-hmm. where you're just, you know going for single shot kills or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
As for as for skins, if there were full fledged skins other than they can't really do hats. That's Team Fortress's thing. They'll get too much yeah. flack for for hats if they do that. Do shoes, boots. Because that's gonna matter. I don't think that helps. That that would be horrible. Crazy light up Peace. sneakers every te- every step they take. Come on. No pieces of flair. People haven't used Nike LED shoes since like the nineties. I will go get my daughter's time. pair of them. Go, right go get now. some LA kicks. I will go get her called? Simon Says shoes right now. She has shoes that have Simon Says built into each one. Simon Says stay put. So I, I prefer I prefer actual full skins. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, absolutely. Total the total experience. Can you imagine like Reaper in a Grim Reaper costume? Like full cloak scythe like it'd be it'd be great reaper dressed up as an angel tracer dressed up as doctor who stop she's a time traveler no it would be good Come on it with the scarf good. the scarf the fourth doctor we we have some some ones uh in chat we have david dresden saying reaper smiley face skin hanzo with a shirt blue winston you know, steampunk mercy i like Ooh, steampunk, steampunk mercy, mercy. Yeah. i like that, that too yeah. Dead, Steampunk, Deadpool everybody. Reaper. Deadpool Reaper would be amazing. <laughs> That's great. So. Yeah. I mean, I if you guys they have can any more, do a lot. Throw some in the chat below. I, I'd like to hear some suggestions. I, I think George of the Jungle, Winston. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's it. Just <laughs> Planet of the Apes, Winston. Yeah. Well, he kind of already is. <laughs> He's already <there. laughs> Uh, I don't even know. Comrade Zarya? I mean, that oh one's just God. too easy. <laughs> they should just do a mashup of Zarya and the Heavy one day. Just <laughs> give her the minigun. Yeah. Be done with it. That's terrible. It would be good. It would be good. Speaking of uh, Winston, though. Um, Speaking of Winston, though. Winston is going to be one of the... Yeah, we're going to be one of those characters that we cover um, this week. So, so I'll get right into that. Winston. His real name is Winston. Winston. He's 29 years old. His occupation is scientist and adventurer, and he's from the moon. Yes, his base of operations is the Horizon Lunar Colony. His affiliation is Overwatch. Can, can they play, like, the DuckTales moon music? Mm, sure. <laughs> So Winston, here's his bio. A super intelligent, genetically engineered gorilla, Winston is a brilliant scientist and a champion for humanity's potential. You know, because he's a monkey. The Horizon Lunar Colony was established as a first step for humanity's renewed exploration of space. Among its residents was a group of genetically enhanced gorillas that were intended to test the effects of prolonged habitation in space. One gorilla displayed such rapid brain development from the gene therapy that he was taken un- that he was taken under the wing of Dr. Harold Winston, who taught him science and inspired him with tales of human ingenuity. The young gorilla passed his days assisting with the scientist's experiments, watching the distant blue world outside his habitat window, dreaming of the endless possibilities that awaited him there. But his life was thrown into chaos when the other gorillas led an uprising. Wow, well, really is Planet of the Apes killed the mission scientists, and claimed the colony for their own. Taking on the name of his beloved human caretaker, Winston built a makeshift rocket and escaped to Earth. There he found a new home with Overwatch, an organization that represented everything he had come to admire about humanity. Winston was finally able to live up to the heroic ideal that had been instilled in him. Now with the fall of Overwatch, Winston has gone into seclusion, once again cut off from the world he believes in, but longing for the days of heroism to return. Yeah, he's basically ripped right out of Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the planet the apes are from was not the moon, though. No. no it was no. just Earth in the future. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a tank, Winston. He is a tank. And he's one of those team-assisting tanks that were that John had mentioned there. Mm-hmm. The shield projector alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So here's his abilities. Tesla cannon. It's his weapon. Uh, He fires a short-range electric barrage for as long as he holds down the trigger. Get close to Winston, you get lightning shot. You know, shocked. 
Yeah. That's, Ish. that's absolutely insane. Did you see the, like the lightning going off? Yeah. It was, it's mm-hmm. it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's Looks crazy. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Next, we have Jump Pack. Assisted by his energy pack, Winston lunges through the air, dealing significant damage and staggering nearby enemies when he lands. Pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. Uh, shield Projector. Winston's shield projector extends a bubble-shaped field that absorbs damage until it's destroyed. Allies protected by the shield can return fire from within it. It is like a bubble shield from Halo, except you can actually shoot out of it. I mean, I love in this video, like, look, he throws it down, and then he's like, almost like he's trapped inside, but he's not. He can get out anytime he wants. Yep. Let All me that's out. missing is for him to, like, bang on the side of the wall, like... <gasps> <gasps> and then his... Ultimate is Primal Rage. Great game, by the way. Winston embraces his animal nature, significantly boosting his health and making him very difficult to kill, strengthening his melee attack and allowing him to use his jump pack ability more frequently. While raging, Winston can only make melee and jump pack attacks. Mm -hmm. You have an angry ape on your hands. Mm -hmm. I mean... You, you get you get a an ape pissed off enough, and it'll rip your face off. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Face ripper monkeys are real. They are. I mean, stay away from them. I live in Connecticut. It happened. Yeah. It happened here in Connecticut. That's terrifying. <laughs> somebody's pet. It was all. Of it. it was a big deal. I don't even remember the whole story. I, re- I like, vaguely remember that. Yeah, it was a big. It ripped. It was like the lady's nose off. Uh, at oh least yeah! Both ears, like it, the whole face was gone. The whole yeah. face was gone. That was a pissed off chimp. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was really, really, honestly brutal. And uh, the, she's still alive. You know, the the lady whose face got ripped off. But I remember she was in like surgery and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, you you don't want to piss an ape off. No, that's, that's for sure. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Winston rescinds his better nature and. Goes ape shit. I mean, he seems very intellectual. He's got the glasses on. Like, he's got that whole, you know, that whole look to him. Mm hmm. But he's yeah. also got that look like, don't fuck with me. He's a gorilla. Like, look at that. That's the don't fuck with me face. That's yeah. the please do not fuck with this. Have you ever stared into the eyes of a gorilla? I have not. Such emotion. I have. They're very gentle creatures. They're they're very gentle creatures, but you know they always they all have that look of "don't fuck with me" in their eyes. Mm -hmm. Also, they say you're not supposed to make eye contact with a gorilla. Well, the babies don't care. True. They're nice. They're nice ish. I like Winston a lot. Space monkeys are a whole different breed too. So. Yeah. Yep. He's a space monkey. Certainly is. Um, He's. As for the other character we will be discussing this week, we will be discussing Reaper. This is a crowd favorite. He sure Man. is. Just get it over with, guys. I mean, he's really unpopular. I know, right? He's so slightly tough. popular. Nobody likes this guy. Moving on to Reaper here. He is an offense hero. His real name is Unknown. His age is unknown his occupation is mercenary his base of operations not known and he is affiliated with unknown as well Ooh, who's this unknown guy I really gotta meet him so reaper it's a pokemon yeah some speak of a black robed terrorist known only as the reaper his identity and motives are a mystery what is known is that he when he where he appears death follows The Reaper is an extremely volatile mercenary, a ruthless and remorseless killer responsible for terrorist attacks across the world. He has fought in many armed conflicts in the last decades, showing no loyalty to any cause or organization. Survivors have described a black shadow ghosting unscathed through the most hellish battlefields. The few bodies recovered by those he kills are pale, empty husks drained of life, their cells showing signs of intense degradation. It is possible that he is a byproduct of failed genetic alteration, which forces his cells to simultaneously decay and regenerate at a hyper-accelerated rate. So he's Deadpool. Those attempting to track his movements have begun to see a pattern in his appearances. They believe that Reaper is hunting former Overwatch agents and systematically eliminating them. He's so scary. 
I know, right? He is. He's honestly, he's frightening. He really is. But the, he's, he's what you would actually not expect. He, he's a glass cannon. He really is. And yeah. he yep. just looks so menacing that you would not expect that out of him. Like, I had a lot of play. This is the character I played the most at, at BlizzCon. And, like, I, I, they asked, you know, feedback on the characters. They said, oh, which character did you play the most? I said, oh, I played Reaper. They're like, what would you think? And I was like, to be honest, I think he just died a little too quickly. Like, he looks like this badass, but then he's taken out in, like, three hits. And it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's really weird. And he needs to be in close. Like, he has shotguns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, two of them. Yeah. And he just, when he's done with them, he goes, fuck shotguns and gets two new ones. Which is the best way to reload shotguns. Just get new shotguns. Yeah. More or less. Seriously. So his abilities. <laughs> I mean, it cuts down on the reload time for sure. It does cut down on reload time. <laughs> so his abilities are Hellfire shotguns. Reaper tears his enemies apart with twin shotguns. Really nothing special to talk about there. His shift ability is Wraith Form. Reaper becomes a shadow for a short period of time. While in this form, he takes no damage and is able to pass through enemies, but cannot fire his weapons or use other abilities. So that's nice. Uh, his E is Shadow Step. After marking a destination, Reaper disappears and then reappears at that location. And that's just wonderful, actually. <laughs> and Death Blossom. It has a charge time. It has a charge time, yes. His ultimate, Death Blossom. In a blur of motion, Reaper empties both Hellfire shotguns at breakneck speed, dealing massive damage to all nearby enemies. There you go. So he just walks in and murders a bunch of people. Yep. There's not a lot of ways to stop it. <laughs> yep. Unless you're... Well, who could stop him? Let's see. I McCree. mean, McCree. Yeah, he could stun him out of it. I really, really wish McCree was playable at BlizzCon because I feel like McCree is more my style than Reaper, but oh, Reaper is still yeah. so much fun. Yeah. I mean, he has an escape ability, which he obviously needs because, goddammit, he can't take a punch. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah, you go in there, guns blazing, and then you just, like, ghost shadow, shadow out. form out. Yeah. One just decent volley from a Tracer took. Uh, when I played Tracer, I was taking Reapers out with one solid volley before reloading. Oh wow! Yeah, that's so, that's why I'm saying that Reaper just for as badass as he looks, he's got no health. Yep. I mean, he's meant to flank. You know, he's he's the kind of guy who cannot march down the front lane. He needs to like come out the sides. You know, right. pop someone's head in and leave. Right. He's you the know? kind of uh, he's the kind of guy who's waiting for you around the corner. Right. Right. He he's not a run in and shoot kind of kind of guy because, like you said, he will just die. Yeah. I mean, I. Get, I advantage you get vantage points too and then you could teleport down to the ground because it's, it's you don't have to tell they even showed in the video we just watched that um it doesn't have to be even playing field that that he shadow steps too it, it could be mm -hmm. anywhere right so i've gone yeah. from the ground to up top shadow step out so i'm out of combat somebody who can't teleport somebody who can't grapple up walls or anything like that they can't chase you so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's so, lovely I mean, and he looks just like death from dark siders too so he does that. He does, and he kind of also has a very little bit of hint of Mr. Grimm from Twisted Metal. Oh, so, yeah. He yeah. does kind of have that. And then, uh, I mean, if you when you read his bio, he's like Deadpool. Yeah. He's dying of some disease and healing it instantaneously. Yep. Yummy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's definitely the most interesting character to me so far. Um, and I think it's that whole mystery. Like we don't know anything about yeah. him. I think that's that, that that's what draws me into a lot of these characters like that. The ones that we get the full fledged bios for, I'm not as interested in. Reaper, I want to know more about, and we're never gonna find out. Which is cool. It's yeah. nice to have a character like that that we'll just be able to speculate about forever. He's the mysterious stranger. Oh. I wonder if at Blizzard they like wrote this like in depth background of like who he really was, and they're never gonna tell us. They're just never gonna tell. <laughs> that would be so douchey, and they probably did it. I imagine that Chris Metzen is sitting there just laughing like, <laughs> I know who Reaper is. He's Winston. That's, that's not true. I lied to you just now. I'm sorry. Reaper is really Tracer. Reaper is Tracer. 
since Tracer can time travel, it's Tracer from the future. Right. There you Ooh. go. But a buff dude. What now? Stuff. Nothing. <laughs> you just blew our minds, bro. I did, I did. <laughs> so he's gonna be played nonstop because Lol Reapers is cool. Yeah, I mean, so he's, he's bad. He's, he gives that like saying the, he's he's Greg Street, aka Ghost Crawler. Um, yeah, no, but like I'm trying to think of like some combinations you could do with with like Reaper and Winston, and it's like you can use that shield to protect him until Wraith form comes off cooldown or whatever, you know, and then and he, he can just fly in and wreck shit. Yeah, yeah, R- yeah. Reapers that if you get close to him, you die, and I found that Pretty out the much. hard way because, you know, if. He was a certain distance away. That was it. I always, You always have the upper hand against him. But as soon as you are past that distance and a wee bit too close, he's going to take your head off before you know what hit you. Just, yeah. just slightly. So You just might and, slightly and be missing your head. Just yeah. slightly. I mean, he's that's what he's meant for, is to just get in there and kill. I mean, like I said, I mean, he's... He's more of a flanker than than Tracer even is, you know. He needs to really, you know, get in from the side. You're not looking. Mm-hmm. See, and Bye. I don't even. I mean, Tracer's a flanker, but she's also just like supposed to be that poppy. You can't hit me, sort of. Yeah, yeah. Scout sort of thing. Where he wants to kill you before you need to hit him. Yes, exactly. You have a chance, or you know, that's his I mean, whole mo. He's gonna be the one, probably, you know. Chasing hey, after three the kills right there. You see that? Yeah, he comes awesome, in. Baby. He comes in. He shadow steps in, and, and then, then uses awesome. uh, his Q ability. Yep. Just, just shotgun it's insane. spins. He's like Dante from Devil May Cry. Like, I think that's why people like him so much because he's like very, you know, very much a gunslinger. Yeah. Very much so. I mean, in, in the vein of McCree. McCree uh, Agreed. It's the same thing. Like like we mentioned, Twisted Metal. My favorite character, the one I play all the time, is Mr. Grimm. You know, I played the crap out of Mr. Grimm. He's wait, who was the motorcycle? That was Mr. Mr. Grimm. Grimm. Yeah, yeah, that was I, Mr. Grimm. Yeah, he was. Yeah, the nine times out of ten, I played him. Yep. Yeah, you know what I think. You know, uh, someone in chat just said Reaper and Zarya might be good because you know she can pop a single shield. Yeah. On him, and. Give him free reign to go do bad things to the enemy's butts. Bad, bad things. See, bad, you know, the thing things. is, it's, it's interesting because, like, because of how Zarya tanks, like, it's kind of almost that Winston and Reinhardt are going to kind of be, like, the primary tanks because they have, like, the big area of effect shields. Right. Which I think is they're going to be, like, their niche. And then Zarya's going to hold a niche of, like, single target protection. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. think that's really cool. Because, you know, Winston can, I mean, he can hold down, he can hold down attacks from all sides. You know, Reinhardt will, you know, we haven't talked about him yet, but he only has a frontal shield. Right. So, so like, mm-hmm. Winston, like, if you're surrounded, like, he's the guy you want on your team right now. Because it's like, no shield, everybody in. It, no shield, yeah. I think it's going to be, Winston is going to be point defense with that shield. Because yes. it's static, you know, you're defending a capture point, whatever, bam, nice shield going up. You know, what's his name? Reinhardt's going to be more for payload and stuff. He's going to be the pusher tank. And then Zarya is just going to be that, I mean, good luck killing her and the one ally she's with. Yeah. And yeah. I'm actually really glad that they put, like, McCree in because, like, up to BlizzCon, I was like, oh, I'm playing Reaper. Reaper's my guy. Like, I'm going to play him all the time. And then I'm like, start thinking about it. I'm like, I, I get into these things where I pigeonhole myself into one character and then I suck on every other character and, like, if somebody else picks that class and I can't play him, I just end up playing a character that I don't want to play and I, I drag the whole team down. So at least with Reaper, I have a backup. If somebody picks it, then, you know, I could I'd pick McCree and I think I'd be just as happy with McCree. And, you know, yeah, you never know. The next announced hero might just be your cup of tea, too. The Samurai Ninja. A- exactly. Yes. The Samurai the, Cyborg Ninja, whatever. So it'd be like Raiden. I, yeah, Cyber, Metal Gear Solid. I already know. I already know I'm going to love that Ninja. character. I already know. I I'm hoping not. it's a very melee heavy character. I'm hoping that it, it could reflect shit with the sword and oh, there's like lightsaber style. You know, like there's so much I want out of that character. I'm, I've mm-hmm. I've already hyped it up enough in my head that I think I'm gonna be disappointed. 
Probably. So. Yeah, kind of a Warframe, actually. Mm. It it's, does remind me of a Warframe. Yeah. Actually, we have an interesting question from chat from uh, Draven. Mm -hmm. So if an enemy gets inside Winston's shield, you know, do they still take full damage from attacks? Like, Winston, like you know, if Reaper teleports inside the shield and Death Blossoms. I um, don't... They Can they get they inside would. the shield? I don't know if they can, but let's say that they're, they're on top of uh, Winston when he uh, casts it. I would assume he's going to be in the shield. Um, yeah. The uh, the heroes can return fire from inside Winston's shield, so I believe they would still be able to damage him um, hmm. inside right inside the shield. So Yeah, I think inside the shield it doesn't matter because it's, it's, it's only protecting the outside, but... I, I mean, I don't know if you guys ever got to encounter it. Obviously, I didn't. But like, can you walk through those kind of shields? Or, or in I I'm imagining not. Allies can. I don't remember if you could. I know the you remember the Halo shields, the bubble shields. You could walk through those. You could walk in and out. But you couldn't. You also couldn't fire out of those. Mm. Yeah. So well, I allies mean, can walk it would through be them. Weird. Yeah, allies, allies can walk could, through them, but, but I don't know about enemies. I don't. I wouldn't. I don't know if it would make sense if they could, because like you could just walk in and murder everyone then, you know? Hmm. I, I'm thinking probably not, because especially, like, someone like Reinhardt's At the same time, you probably shield. don't want to walk in, though, if if it's cast and there's two mm. or three people in there and you're, you're one dude you're solo walking in, you probably don't want to walk in <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> you're not going to make it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll get killed while you're walking. Yep. I don't know. That's interesting. Because I couldn't see, like, you walking through Reinhardt's shield. Like, it's... Right. It's a wall... <laughs> Like it's you a wall of energy. Want to. If you got that close to his shield to walk through, he will charge you and you're dead. You're dead. He has a giant gas powered hammer. His shield is projecting from a hammer. A really big hammer. A hammer that is bigger no, than no, he has a character. He has a buckler. Oh, it is a buckler? I thought it yeah, was projecting from the hammer. Well. I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't listen to me, I'm an idiot. But yeah, like I don't know. I wouldn't do it. So you could try it, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> Unless Winston's alone, he's like the only guy in that shield, and even then, he's pretty dangerous up close with that Tesla cannon. So that's the point. Yeah. So don't don't do it. Wait him out. <laughs> that's the only thing you can do, and that's, by that time, his team's caught up to you. That's what tanks are supposed to be for. So <laughs> yes, absorbing Hold damage, more. redirecting damage, distracting you. And he's really mobile, you know. He can hop around the stage and get places quickly. Yeah, so exactly. He's going to be a very interesting tank because I think he's probably got the best mobility out of out of the three so far, correct? Because I don't think Zarya has a way to speed up, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, think. she doesn't. She really doesn't. She has the bar two different barriers, the cannon and the graviton surge. And the graviton, yeah. And Reinhardt can charge. Right. But, you know, that's like a straight line thing. So, you know, really Winston's like your mobile, you're probably your most mobile tank, I'd right. imagine. He probably is with the jump. Yeah, pack. and all the tanks are, are fairly unique at this point too, which is great. So hopefully there's not going to be too much crossover. I, I think that's an important thing that they need to make sure is, is that the, the roles are extremely different here. Like yeah. the, each tank feels like a different, it's, it's much like heroes. Like every tank in heroes is, is very different from each other. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I like that variety. It's pointless to have two characters that are pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I mean that was one of the biggest problems in WoW is that the tanks were too similar for a while. Okay, so oh, like now they are most definitely not. <laughs> right. So you know, <sighs> even though you're all fulfilled, because it's really easy to diversify a cat. Well, um, she's been touching me for the last five <laughs> minutes. It's driving. She's like she's reaching up alongside of my chair and going touch, 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 touch. I mean, like, it's, it's, it's easy to diversify DPS classes because, like, you know, this one shoots a gun, this one shoots a sniper rifle, this one has a rocket launcher, you know? Like, you can do anything with damage classes, but, like, tanks are kind of harder because they have to protect people, bottom line. Mm -hmm. So, so far, they've done a really good job with it. Stop. So, Stop eating the desk. Yeah, they've done a great job of diversifying it, and I just want this game. I'm going to say it every week. You can pretend you have it. That, everybody, is the sound of a cat eating a microphone.
Yeah. Well, on that <laughs> now note, we know that thing. I think that about wraps this show up. You guys have anything else before we, we end this? No, I'm good. We finally got to Reaper. Are you happy, Internet? You better be happy. He's amazing. We love him. We do. Oh, there we you do. go. <laughs> uh, Mike, where can the people find you? They can find me and this cat on Twitter and Twitch at Thilladrin, right there. Uh, John, where can the people find you? You can find me on Twitter at No More No More and doing Let's Plays on YouTube at Nahajim and H O J M. Stop it. Excellent. You can find me down below at Zista, X I Z T A with an underscore. Um, you could also find us right here on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, YouTube uh, is Dead Zista, Twitch is just Zista, X I Z T A. No underscores. Um, and uh, you can find the three of us on uh, the As Seen on TV podcast on YouTube, ASO TV podcast, uh, for many, many TV shows. So, uh, many. many, 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 many. So, until next week, see you guys later. Yep. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. I hate Thanks this for cat. cat.